I've said this uh, uh, many times. Uh, uh, this has been a year like none other. Uh, the, the level of sadness and death this province has experienced uh, has been unbelievable. Uh, uh, not just from the pandemic, but uh, as, as uh, you know, every other event that has happened here uh, and the heartache uh, the Nova Scotians are feeling. I represent part of. Uh, I represent a fishing community. Uh, along the Bay Shore, uh, the Laps Cove and Hillsburn, where uh, the search was continuing from. Uh, I'm, my family on on my mother's side are fishermen in Cape Breton. Uh, it, it's 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 heartbreaking. Um, I it, there's never a, a, um, a good time of year, but um, you know, having to enter into uh, this season. All praises to the Most High Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Earthly Mother, sanctifying Yahweh Shai, the Holy Son. Brothers and sisters, Jews and Gentiles alike, welcome. This is your humble servant, a Big Levi, and uh, today is uh, Friday, December the 18th, 2020, and it's currently 11.22 p.m., Jews and Gentiles alike, grafted and chosen. What you are seeing here on your screen, what you're experiencing here, it's called Esau's trouble. It's called the Gentiles' tribulation. This gentleman that you're seeing here, his name is uh, Mr. Stephen McNeil. He is a premier. It's like a mayor of Nova Scotia. Now, brothers, please, uh, before I show this, I have to, um, I, you know, I do this all the time. This is happening, brothers and sisters, because Genesis 15, all of this event that you are going to experience is Genesis 15 and verse 13 is accomplished, is fulfilled, okay? And he said unto Abram, know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and they shall serve them, and they shall afflict them 400 years. December 21st, this uh, two days from now, is going to seal that, okay? As we speak, as we watch this video, forever and ever, Genesis 15, 14 is going to be administered for a thousand years. And also, that nation who they, whom they shall serve will I judge. So, Father is judging these people through the ten plagues of the apocalypse of Abraham. Now, the first plague of the apocalypse of Abraham is sorrow. We do this every video, brothers and sisters. Let us define sorrow. Define sorrow. Here's the definition of sorrow. A feeling of deep distress caused by loss, disappointment, or other misfortune suffered by oneself or others. The reason why you see this gentleman is crying because he has suffered a, a deep distress, you know, because of a loss. Okay, they are losing people. Okay, because uh, let's let's read a little bit. Uh, speaking to reporters on Thursday morning, Nova Scotia Premier, that's like a mayor, Stephen McNeil fought back tears as he reflected on the incredibly inc incredibly <clears throat> difficult year his province has to face. The latest blow coming in the form of news that six families in the province may have to cope with yet another loss following the sinking of a scallop dragger Tuesday. So what is a scallop dragger? Uh, I'm not quite sure if this will pick, it, pick that up. Scallop dragger. These pictures should match. So a scallop dragger, brothers, is a fishing boat. It's a fishing boat. Now, Nova Scotia, let's watch where Nova Scotia is. For those of you, you already know where I'm going with this. You know what's going on. Nova Scotia, Canada. Now, watch closely, brothers. Let's go to Nova Scotia. Let's go to Nova Scotia. There you go. Do you see what I'm seeing? Do you see what I'm seeing? Halifax, Canada, Nova Scotia. And we told you about the ley line. We told you about the Bermuda Triangle because the triangle that they have is one. They have it from Puerto Rico. 
to Miami and to Bermuda. That's not good because they heard of Bermuda. They tried to trace it like that. No. The true ley line of the Bermuda Triangle is for the is from the Tortuga Island where we detonated that uh, um that atomic bomb uh during the Atlantis war, okay? To Atlanta, Atlantis, Georgia. Okay? Is that Atlanta right here? Where is it? Yes, Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, to all the way to Nova Scotia, which is Halifax, Canada. Okay? Halifax, Canada. And if you follow this ley line, this one go all the way to Paris, which is connected to the Eiffel Tower. Now, brothers and sisters, Jews and Gentiles alike, if you've been following my channel, you know for a fact there's been a lot of incident that the airplane keep falling off the sky. And we documented a couple of them, okay? Over here, over here, over here, over here. The airplane are falling off. Now, the boats are being missing. This is not just over here. This is the, the skull of Dragon. It's, it, it's not just over here, brothers, okay? Look, watch this. The search continues tonight for four main fishermen after their boat sang off the, sank off the coast of Massachusetts. Good evening. I'm Pat Callahan. Cindy Williams is off tonight. We never, never think about it when we order fish at the supermarket or a restaurant about just how dangerous commercial fishing is, particularly in weather like we saw over the last 24 hours. The Coast Guard is leading that search effort in the southern part of the Gulf of Maine, about 20 miles northeast of Provincetown. That's where it's almost certain that the Emmy Rose went down in the middle of the night. Brothers, look at this. 20 miles from off course, you went down, they, they, they can't find you. For a fisherman. Okay, 20 miles from Provincetown and, and Boston. Let's see where Provincetown is. Pra Oops. Oop. Province. Oh boy. Town, Boston. I'm not too good at typing, brothers. I'm not too good. Oh, really? Oh, really? This is Provincetown. Remember, be, uh, uh, recently, a couple weeks ago, we had an earthquake here. Because the ley line, you know, this is carnally traced, okay? We just carnally trace this. But the reason why you're seeing those happening and then close to each other, okay? Let's put a, a, um, uh, a pin here somewhere, okay? 20 miles, about 20 miles. Let's put it right here. So let's measure it so we can know for a fact where it is. Measure 20 miles from Provincetown. Okay. Oh boy. Oh man. All right. Let's let's name it first. You know what? Let's just do this. Uh, province down. Let's put it on top of the ley line. Okay. Missing. Oops. Missing. Boat. Okay. Let's put a, a link in it so we have to just in case if we need to come back from that. Now we all know this, brothers, that um, not only airplane are falling off the sky, train are getting derailed, and then uh, um, um, those uh, those things, those boats are disappear, and they don't, they, they can't find them. We know what's happening to them. We told them the true Bermuda Triangle is here. It's from Tortuga Island to A Atlanta, Georgia, to Nova Scotia. Okay, that's why. You see those people, they, look, it's been happening so much. They are scared. They don't know what's going on here. Listen. Okay, let's see where Halifax, Canada is. Nova Scotia. It's in the same line. Okay, let's put another. Uh, look, we just carnally trace those things. Okay, Nova Scotia, Halifax, Canada. Uh, missing. Oh. Yeah, all right. Missing. Fisher men. All right. Okay, let's put the link on that. So, in case we need it, we can go get the video and uh, just in case. All right. And now they are, they are, there you go, here you go. Brothers, this is no coincidence. The imaginary ley line, you can see there was an earthquake here. 
a boat missing here, a bunch of boats being missing. There are a bunch of boats, a fisherman boats. They are missing. And we know for a fact, you know, because of the ley line, the Bermuda is trying to go swallowing those people. All right. I think we're done with that. Let's see what's going on. Okay. This dude is crying. All right. Let me close this. All right. Let's finish this video because let's see if that thing recorded. There we go. It is. No, for a fact now, all of this is happening, brothers and sisters, okay? Because of the, uh, the, the templates of the apocalypse of Abraham. This guy is in deep sorrow, and the father is using the ley line, and then get rid of those people. A lot of boats are being missing. This guy is not fire, uh, is not crying because, oh, one boat went missing. He got six more families that he has to go over there and tell them, yo, we can't find your people, okay? This is horrible. Remember, we made a video about a, um, a, a Navy, a fellow that fell off the ship and they can find him, all right? Uh, with uh, those families with such a loss. Um, and even the families who were in that industry who didn't lose someone yesterday have been shaken deeply because they get on their vessels and their families get on their vessels uh, to go out to make a livelihood. Um, so, you know, my message to them is don't give up hope. This is it. Now, since when Gentiles always say don't give up hope, this used to be the talk of all people. We shall overcome. Yeah, now it's your turn. It's your turn now. Um, as difficult as this is, and as hard as this is, uh, we as a province, we're, and we as a community, uh, will rally around you uh, and do our best uh, to help uh, lessen the pain uh, of of your reality. Oh, okay. Now you 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 guys are going to bring them fantasy? This hash is real, man. This is real. It's not just the plague. That's what this dude said. It's not just the virus. It's just like people are dying. They just go fishing. They never come back. And we know what's happened to those people. And they're gonna come with a bunch of uh, conspiracy theories. There's a lot of conspiracy things going on over there. Why in this coast over there, those people are get, getting missing and all that? And get out of here, man. This little small area right here, we told you this is where the true Bermuda Triangle is located at, right there. And the ley line are snatching them up. Again, this is carnally trace. It's something that we just trace. Okay, we don't we don't really, you know, trace it like that. But brothers, we've been telling you this. For those of you who follow the video, Prince Town, missing boat, a bunch of boats are being missing here. We told you. Okay, let's check on the Leviathan over there in uh, in uh, Antarctica. Here we go, baby. Still guarding Antarctica. Look at the eyes, the snout, the other eyes, giant snake guarding that egg <laughs> that's what it is man always all right man Let, let's let's go ahead and then move to the next video man. let's see if we can do this fast all right and we hear devastating COVID numbers every day but behind those numbers are real people and real pain for one family in san bernardino they know it all too well after 10 members got the virus and as cbs 2's alex biston shows us one of their loved ones did not recover I don't want to see any other families going through what we're going through. It's the hardest thing I've ever been through. Okay, now you got those people all crying right now because 10 members of the family has the virus. The father dies. Horrible things. But hey, this is of the Mossad, man. Teresa Milan fights back tears as she describes how the coronavirus is devastating her family. This virus is just a monster. The San Bernardino mother of five recently battled COVID, but to make matters worse, nine other people in her household, including her mother, father, five sons, her husband and daughter-in-law, all became infected. She believes the virus spread after a family member came home from work and felt sick shortly after. It's so contagious, this virus. Mm -hmm. It just didn't work. It just spread like wildfire throughout our house. And you still believe people are out there, our own people that are in the truth. They are repeating what the Gentiles are saying. Oh, it's a, it's a pandemic. It's fake. It's fake. They tried to do this to bring the mark of the beast. It's fake. All right. Keep taking credit from the Mosai. We try to quarantine. We have three bathrooms. You know, we only, you know, we try to separate everybody. It just, it was impossible. That is because if the most I ordain you to get this, you will get it. 
and then you know they, whatever the result is is of the most high all right and now a week before christmas the milan family has lost its patriarch yeah you can see what kind of family we have here beautiful family celebrating the, you know the holiday christmas and and then snoopy and all that he's a man of faith okay that's what they said when they say things like that okay He's a member of the priesthood of Mahan, and we're worshiping the mark of the beast. We're not going to remove that chip, but we're going to keep it horrible, you know? Beautiful children, all right? But this happened. Marisa says her father, Joe, died at Kaiser in Fontana after being on a ventilator for 18 days. I gave him a hug, and I kissed him, and I told him I loved him. The next thing I know, the doctor's calling me at 11 p.m. at night, telling me that they had to put my dad on a ventilator. I never got to talk to him again or see him. Marie says, "Okay, what you saw, see, what you what you just witnessed here, it's called sorrow for much needs. A lot of sorrow. Okay." His mom was also hospitalized for eight days after she contracted the virus. Esther Milan describes her husband of 41 years as a man of faith and a proud Marine veteran. Yeah, you can see that flag, support the blue, back up the blue and all that, even though he doesn't have the blue in it, but that's what it is, you know. And uh, yeah, you know, it, they, look, those people could be our people, but hey, man, you, you read them to the spirit, hey, it, 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 it doesn't match. All right. So now, not only that, brothers uh, and sisters, the Mosai is ruining everything, man. This woman got a raccoon break into her house, okay? Now, this raccoon. Guys. Get. Come on. Go on. Dog's so, gone. Out of the tree. This raccoon got it in the tree. I swear knocked down any of my glass ornaments, cat. Get. And the raccoon attacked the, the, the dog. The dog attacked the raccoon, but the raccoon actually no, um, injured the dog. What is that? You know? Those is things are squirrel? dangerous. No. Okay. 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 <laughs> Terror. <laughs> Don't talk over my tree. Get, get. The most I hate. Your hell a day. The most I hate it. That's why the tree fell. Is that thing we call it? That's why the tree fell. Okay? This is plague number seven. Wild beasts will be their grave. Okay? The animals, they're going to attack you. You know, raccoon breaking the man break her stuff. Okay, the dog was bleeding. Five in the morning. These are all the ornaments that made it. There's my beautiful tree. Mm-hmm. There's the raccoon. That raccoon's still there. There's the dog. Again, um, like I always say, brothers and sisters, if you are filming your videos, always hold your phone horizontally so you can eliminate this black bar on the left and this one on the right so you can have the full view of this house. Okay, so now the most I destroy everything. She cried though at the end. She cried. Let me see. I didn't have the camera on. Hey, look, one thing made it. Ran over there, that door was open while well, it did this whole leapy jumpy thing. The raccoon is still in the house. Thanks, dog. And then over the window, it tore off some weather stripping. It's too cold outside for me to go ahead and worry about that. Oh, my tree. That's right. The most I sent this raccoon. Good job, raccoon. <laughs> That's a, a good job. That raccoon did a good job for the most I. Yes, sir. All right. Those people are finding all kind of thing. They had an owl and the other tree, and then now this freaking raccoon. And yet, those things never stop them, brothers. Those things never stop those people. They still celeb ce celebrating their freaking holiday. So this is Spain, right there. This is Italy. Okay. Those are the people that are going ahead for Christmas because they they're going to have a band. So. The train station is overwhelmed with those people. All right. And then they're going to see a spike 
And then they, they're going to ask, like, okay, what the hell? What's going on? What happened? Did we did something? Uh, what happened? Uh, uh, there's a spike on, on coronavirus and stuff. This fake hoax thing, you know, which is Bill Gates create because he want to make more money. I mean, uh, he, he made billions and billions of dollars. And then now, oh, all those things. And what's going on? What's going on here? Hmm? What's going on? They're still not stopping. Okay, this is Italy. Keep that in mind. Okay, before the travel ban. All right. And this is Italy again. For those of you this is uh, uh, who don't know, this is the second plague of the apocalypse of Abraham, fiery conflagration of the city. All right. So those guys, they are, they are protesting. Okay, they are protesting the, the government. Look, this is not happening in the hood. Those people are not protesting here. They're not protesting the Hebrews. They have their own people. They put circle in their own people. They hate, they despise their own government. This was supposed to be Jacob's trouble. As you're witnessing here, brothers and sisters, those people are setting things in fire, on fire in their own, on their own country, and their own property, and their own hood, and their own territory. The police, this is martial law. The police over there scuffling, pushing, fighting all right this hish is real okay they are cursing and stuff because it's real all right define conflagration here's the definition of conflagration an extensive fire which destroys a great deal of land or property fire blaze flames and fell noah firestorm and my favorite holocaust brothers and sisters jews and gentiles alike this is the people's holocaust let them enjoy they are setting things on fire okay they are working around with fire in their hand okay let them let them protest this is their own stuff don't get involved with this okay all right atlantic city is offering one lucky bidder the op opportunity of a lifetime, the chance to push uh, the button that will implode Trump's now defunct bankrupt casino. The doors of the Trump Plaza Hotel and Casino shuttering six years ago, it is crumbling um, and it has a crumbling facade, uh, now somewhat of an eyesore as well. The demolition is set to take place late January, nine days after Trump leaves office. Trump's exit from Washington now paralleled by another ending. Well, this is a crystal chandelier. They're extremely expensive. And I guess overall, we have close to $20 million worth of chandeliers in this room alone. I listen, listen to the Gentiles bragging. You made so much money in Atlantic City. Yes. The Plaza Hotel, a financial disaster. Trump had long cast himself as a winner. Now he was looking like a loser. Pink slips went out to Trump Plaza workers today. The casino plans to close prime piece of property once marketed as the center of it all parts of the facade are clearly missing look like we most of our people we know those people cannot run any business especially trump man everything that guy touched turned into poop turned into a human fecal matter that guy can't do anything now they're about to blow up his place his casino you know, and then somebody, if you have $50,000, I can take a million things to do with $50,000. But anyway, man, I just brought that to the people. This is a, this is a, a, a metaphor for the Gentiles, you know. Used to have $20 million worth of chandelier. Why? This place shouldn't have any chandelier at all. But you put $20 million worth of it. Worth of, uh, 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 most likely he's lying. Anyway, let's move in. Beds are open in the morning. It's a stark warning and a reality check from LA County's top health authorities today. As the number of COVID-19 hospitalizations continue to go up daily, hospitals are simply running out of places to put patients. They say right now across LA County, there are less than 700 available beds and less than 70 in the intensive care unit. Our hospitals, as well as many private hospitals, are moving uh, care into other settings like the PACU and the emergency department. Um, and other locations, uh, they are adding three beds to a room that maybe was a double room or turning a single room into a double room so that they could make more space for patients. 
LA COUNTY HEALTH OFFICIALS SAY THE SURGE THEY'RE SEEING IS A RESULT OF THANKSGIVING GATHERINGS. THERE YOU HAVE IT. THERE YOU HAVE IT. SO WHEN THEY TOLD YOU PEOPLE STAY YOUR BUTT HOME, YOU KNOW, DON'T GO AROUND AND THEN DO NONSENSE AND LOCK YOURSELF IN BECAUSE THE BLESSING HAS BEEN TAKING AWAY FROM YOU. NOPE, YOU GOTTA CELEBRATE IT at THANKSGIVING AND ALL THAT. ALL RIGHT, LET'S CHECK THE COMMENT. Yet the mall and grinder are still active all day, every day. Yeah, whatever, man. Christmas about to kill kill us off the, the yes. <laughs> yes. Wait for Christmas and New Year's. A hundred thousand cases a day. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Ten year old boy and his mother are dead from apparent gunshot wounds. Police say the boy's sixteen year old sister is fighting to survive. Investigators are calling it a murder suicide on the west side of New Braunfels. Eyewitness News reporter Sue Kalberg is there with the details on this tragic news and the impact that's now being felt. New Braunfels police say they were called here just before 10 a.m., but the neighbors say word about what happened here didn't start spreading until much later in the day. Brothers and sisters, Jews and Gentiles alike, now you are witnessing there's a lot of people that keep murder-suicide. They are killing their children and killing themselves. All right, in a previous video, I believe a couple of days ago, there was this dude. He used to be a um, uh, somewhat a body trainer, one of those uh, fitness trainer. He got enough. He took he, both of his son. Uh, he took his son and, and his daughter, cut off their heads. Okay, and then now you got this woman killing uh, 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 his son. Kill, uh, tried to kill the daughter. The daughter's fighting for for the life for her life, and then she kill herself because they cannot process pain the way that we're processing they cannot processing stress the way that we do okay some of them look like us but they are not us okay copycats this is Esau's trouble this is the gentiles tribulation the covenant has been restored be at peace brothers and sisters the most is in the midst of us the most is with us the angels are here okay there will be no jacob's trouble understand this now those people can't they they, they can't get they can't cope with this how long is this thing oh good lord they can't they can't cope with this okay now we're gonna go very quick through the weathers okay this is over there in australia melbourne or melbourne in australia okay this is the plague number six all right all right so this is hell okay australia is no is no like whatever no stranger to hell because the hell is destroying the crops the stuff okay it's all over all right this is in australia all right this one is in argentina in spain all right it's hell storm all over okay hell storm all over all right this is this is never happened like that don't be coming at me oh there's a hell season and stuff like nope they, they don't those things are, used to be very very rare okay some of you never even witness a hell storm again brothers if you're shooting a video hold your phone horizontally you see you only got 20 25 percent you lost 75 percent of the video so you can see this side you can see that side okay always hold your phone horizontally even before you press record after you hold it horizontally the screen flip then you press record okay all right so yeah this thing is uh it's, it's getting ridiculous all right okay so number six increase of hell and snow all right so the most eyes judging judging them this is in boston they had a flooding okay I believe it was raining and then it was snowing the heat wave came in and then melted everything so yeah this is boston right here all right and then i believe uh, there's another hell storm over here in that country uh all right let's listen to a little audio okay this is a hell storm okay it's happening all over the world all around the world remember we just got that eclipse over there and then now Okay, we got Argentina. Let's check Argentina. Okay, Argentina. It's in South America. All right. There you go. There we go. Okay, man, they put me very far. Okay, this is Argentina, South America. Okay, 
let's see the 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 eclipse that we had oops that's we had uh when what the 14 four days ago um december 14th 2020 eclipse okay according to wick all right let's see the eclipse they had a yes let me see if we can get that uh oops no that's not the one that we need okay this is the one that we need okay let's look at the path of the of the eclipse okay all right see the path of the eclipse covers south america all over to argentina okay it's gonna go to south south africa and then whatever so a lot of hell going to happen there okay you see the path okay and then this is argentina right here argentina right there and then the path go right here a lot of things gonna go in the south america man and then it's gonna be all over all worldwide okay there must have been a ley line somewhere around here if anybody know there's something here perhaps this island falkland island malvinas or whatever okay a lot of hell gonna going to happen here man okay so that's just a little connection we make okay brothers and sisters we're not uh, saying everything like this we're not pulling things out of our butt okay this is uh um uh we already watched this okay this is in spain okay they, they got the hell storm and, and i mean the flooding in spain okay the, did we watch this already it felt like we did sometime let me see if we got the flooding there we go that's the flooding again brothers horizontally all right so yeah a lot yeah it's cold man it's very cold but the flooding is still going on over there just like china it never stopped this is the rage of the Mosai, man. The Mosai is doing this. The, the elite doesn't have any kind of weather manipulation device that are causing this stuff. This is a bunch of nonsense they make to make themselves feel comfortable. Okay? Alright? And this is that cyclone we are talking about in Fiji, brothers. Okay? okay this is Fiji Island. There's a giant cyclone. Okay? Which is a freaking hurricane. Okay? All right, you see the damage, man? You see? You see the damage, man? You see how strong the, the wind is blowing things up? This is in Fiji. Please, if you are filming those things, hold your phone horizontally so we can get the full view. Yeah, this is Fiji, man. All right, let's see where Fiji at. One brother said he went to Fiji, man. I would love to go there, man. Let's get rid of that all right i think we're almost done we're done though all right we're done let's check fiji fiji island where fiji is supposed to be in the pacific ocean oh there we go this is the fiji island baby suva is the capital city okay and uh yeah fiji is here let me see where it's closer to it's very far from french polynesia yeah it's it's very far to tahiti yeah quite far mm -hmm. all right this is the fiji island that's where um this thing is happening i used to drink the fiji water okay uh apparently the the water is like all natural over there okay all right Fiji. There we go, brothers and sisters. Now you get in it. All praises to the Most High Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Earthly Mother, sanctifying Yahweh Shai, the Holy Son, Shalom.